Hello and welcome to the Coastal Living YouTube and Podcast channel. My name is Drew Dellinger. I'm a realtor here in the Grand Strand area of South Carolina. The Grand Strand area is around Myrtle Beach. That may be the easiest way to understand it. You'll hear me in a lot of my videos refer to it as the Grand Strand area. But yes, I'm a realtor here in the area and I have been doing these videos for a while now to try to just give back. There's a lot of the, question, a lot of the same questions that seem to come up uh, over the years as I've helped clients. And I just hope these videos have been helpful. They've been fun for me and I hope they have also been fun for you. So a little about myself, I moved down to the area about 20 years ago and for the last eight years, I have been a licensed real estate agent. I'm a very active agent and this is my full-time career. Uh, I have sold over $100 million worth of real estate. No team, just me as of today in 2023. Um, $100 million worth of real estate and helped hundreds of uh, clients over the years. I humbly say that, but I do think it's important to mention it just so you know who you're talking to here and that I've had a lot of experience helping folks. Uh, so if you have questions about the area, please reach out. I understand that you may be in the preliminary phases of your search and are considering areas all along the coast. I understand that. I respect that. I'm a non-push type of agent, so don't be hesitant to reach out to me and think, think you're, you're gonna be overly sold and pestered from here. That's not my approach. And if you were to reach out to my past clients, I would hope that they would uh, say the same thing. I just try to get all the info out there. I have a transparent approach. And hey, I'll be the first one to tell you if our area doesn't suit. I mean, you give me a, a list of your need, we'll talk through your criteria, your wants and needs, we'll talk, to, talk through your criteria, and I'll tell you what the area can do for you. I'm not going to try to, to overly sell you, like I said, that's not my approach. And hey, I have other realtor partners up and down the coast, or friends, I should say, and folks that have helped other clients of mine over the years of these other areas, whether they were moving out or you know, just like yourself maybe end up in one of these other areas, I'd be glad to get you matched up with a realtor in one of these other markets that could help you. And uh, again, if that's where you should land, if it's another area, great. That's, hey, I want you to be happy with wherever you end up uh, settling at for your next relocation spot. So I wanna throw up my contact info really quick so you'll have it and can reach out. Obviously, it'll be listed below, but please reach out if, uh, if you'd like to talk through um, your situation and learn more about the area. And if these videos have been helpful to you, would you do me a favor and just uh, maybe comment below, like, share, get it out there so other folks can have that same resource. Um, I hope they've been helpful and I do appreciate all the support. If you hit that subscribe button, you'll actually uh, get a notification uh, as my videos, as my new videos go live. Maybe I'm discussing a topic that interests you or a community. If you'd like to get those notifications, uh, please hit subscribe. It does help and it does get these videos out there. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into today's topic and video now. And thank you so much. I look forward to helping you. Back y'all, it's Drew Dellinger with Garden City Realty. Thank you so much for dropping in, being part of this YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be talking about a hot topic right now. We're gonna be talking about flood insurance and flood risk. I'm gonna kind of separate the two. And what a good time to do so because we're right in the middle uh, of hurricane season here at the beach. Um, this is that time of year. The weather is lovely, but it is that living by the coast, you deal with hurricanes, right? And that brings flooding. Now it's 2024. And as we know right now, there are, it's been a very active hurricane season. There's devastation around us. Uh, there's, it's, it's a disaster up in North Carolina. I, I was actually up there uh, this past weekend running some chainsaws, trying to help folks. Had a burden on my heart to go up and help out. But just looking around, man, that storm hit them out of nowhere. They weren't expecting it. And then just last night, Hurricane Milton hit Florida and they had a, what, a 13 foot storm surge. So great time to talk about flood risk and flood insurance. It's very, very sad what I'm hearing about the upstate in North Carolina. I don't know if these stats are true, but I have been reading that less than 1% of the folks in North Carolina have flood insurance. So I want to talk about that. What is, why, why does that happen and what does that mean? I'm not an insurance guy. Let me start there. I'm not a expert, let's say in insurance, but I know enough maybe to get, a, get you started or get you over to the right person. Um, but more than anything, if you've been here before, you know my big thing is transparency. 
I want to be transparent. I want you to have all the info. And I think a lot of people don't have insurance just because they're, they misunderstand the process, the flood insurance process. See, if you carry a mortgage on your property, there are certain zones that don't actually require flood insurance. And unfortunately, it's conveyed to people that that means you're not in a flood risk. You're not in a flood zone. That is poor language. That's not the right language to use. All that means is you're at a low enough risk that your lender, your servicer, mortgage company is willing to take, th take on the risk and, and allow you not to carry flood insurance in that what we call the X flood zone. That just means a lower risk than some of these others. This does not mean you will never flood. I think that's incredibly important, guys, incredibly important to know because really you need to look at your situation. Is it worth it? Is it worth not carrying flood insurance should something happen? I myself am in a lower risk floodplain, an X floodplain, and guess what? Yes, I carry optional flood insurance. Flood insurance, I carry, and, and the good news is if you're in one of those X planes, it may be um, cheaper, less expensive for you to carry some coverage for flood. Now, something that I want to mention is that this could change. This is 2024, so anything that I'm saying today needs to be checked at the time you are potentially watching this video. Things may change in the insurance business. There are also various types of market in the insurance business. That's not a one-size-fits-all. You, you have FEMA, which is the government insurance program, and then you also have private markets, which you can actually purchase a higher amount than, than you can get through FEMA. FEMA's maxed out at that $250,000, $250,000. However, like myself, I've got much more coverage than that. I went to, the, 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 to shop the private markets. Now, I'm not gonna get into the intricacies of, of insurance. I wish I could. Um, call me for that. Uh, I could talk about how that, that looks and what's covered and what's not. And, the coverage levels and all that good stuff. I know enough about it to at least give you some info. Um, also, what's transferable, what's not. You know, when you go to sell, there's all these different things that we can talk through. But more importantly, I want you to know that just because you are in a lower risk floodplain, which some, by the way, would say not in a floodplain, doesn't mean you should not carry coverage. And I do believe there are many that just don't understand that. They haven't been given that info and potentially is what's caused them or led them to believe they shouldn't have coverage. I myself rested about 13 foot elevation. I'm in an ex floodplain. I think this storm surge that just came in in Florida was 13 foot. I don't know what that means. I'm not a weather guy. I'm not an insurance expert. However, that alarms me enough to carry insurance on my personal property. Okay. Now you may look at properties and they're 23 foot above sea, sea level. You may decide not to carry it. It's up to you. But ultimately, I want you to have the info so you can make the call to know is that risk worth it or not? Because there are a lot of folks, guys, up in Florida right now that don't have coverage and I'm sure if they were given the option, they would. They had no clue. They never thought they would flood. Um, our property's never flooded, right? There's many properties that have not flooded since they've been built. But our last major, major storm surge storm was what, 1989, Hurricane Hugo? We've had several storms, yes. But I, nothing like Florida was hit with recently. So I just think it's important that you know what the risk is. There is no such thing as not within a flood zone. You're going to hear that a lot and you're gonna hear me a lot push back on that. Only because I don't think that's, that just, that means, some people think, think that means, oh, well, I'm not gonna ever flood. If I'm not in a flood zone, of course I shouldn't flood, right? It's not the case. I think it's very, very important. There are properties that are not within a flood zone, quote unquote, what pe the language people would use for X that have flooded year in and year out. And there are properties that are within a higher risk floodplain that haven't flooded. So really you just need to look at your risk tolerance and, and know uh, and let that make the judgment call of whether or not you're gonna carry that flood insurance. I'm not trying to sell you flood insurance. I don't do that. I'm in the real estate business, but I want you ha to have all the info so you can make the best decision for your family. 
Guys, thank you so much for being here, for watching my channel. Please like, subscribe, share. Um, I'd love to speak with you about your move here or whether you're selling here. I've got a lot of other great videos on communities around us and topics. Please reach out. You know I would love to help you. God bless.